I'm Kaboot. Um, I think it's a network. It's like a second internet or something like that. For yeah, a network that connects, um, an educational network that connects different universities, maybe. So mainly what we know about Kaboot is that it's um, it's mainly like a connection. Now. And each letter stands for uh, something different, like A, I think, for Abu Dhabi. And then, uh, what do you think? What's the rest? I have no idea. Yeah, something related to Etisalat, maybe? Ankabut, the UAE Advanced Network for Research and Education, is the NREN of the UAE. Ankabut is the medium of communication that connects all universities and educational institutions in a high speed internet and connect them to their counterparts uh, to the international networks available uh, around the world. So there was a project by Etisalat, which I was the consultant, uh, which was mainly focusing on planning, strategic planning for education sector and using uh, technology to enhance the educational system of higher education. Uh, in 2002, I suggested to them that we need to have something like Internet 2 in the United Arab Emirates which will actually enhance the research environment, it will also enhance the academic environment, the pedagogical environment, in a sense that uh, UAE will be using this kind of high uh, speed networks to, to do so many things, collaboration of so many senses, they'll be talking about it. Uh, Al-Ankabud was a very ambitious uh, project. We started thinking of it in the 2005, and we had a lot of uh, brainstorming session with different uh, players. And in 2006, uh, we reached an agreement with the Salat to sign the first uh, MOU to establish uh, an Ankabut as the first educational network for the UAE. Uh, the history of Ankabut started in 2006. Uh, we uh, had the idea at that time. Uh, then we formed a consortium of universities. Uh, and then we need partners to complete our mission. Ankabut have a number of partners. Uh, Telecom Reg Regulatory Authority and the ICT Fund uh, are uh, one of the main uh, stakeholders in this project. The project is funded uh, jointly between Khalifa University and the ICT Fund. Uh, Kubut uh, today providing a good profile of services uh, different services like uh, video conferencing, voice over IP, DNS, uh, NTs, uh, hosting, uh, uh, clouds, and uh, high performance computing, grid computing, and video conferencing, especially unified communications. New York University in Abu Dhabi and in New York are two entry points that connect NYU's existing academic centers to form a single global network university. In order to create this global research and learning community, NYU is attracting an elite group of researchers to Abu Dhabi who require a high bandwidth global network that allows them to move large amounts of data, access special facilities such as labs, supercomputers, and performing arts centers, and provide basic services such as video conferencing, streaming lectures, and internet services in a reliable and cost-effective manner. Uh, they could be in a different country, they could be uh, on a different continent, uh, but how can we bring them together uh, using a network, using a, a telepresence facility, but yet keep the quality, the video quality, the audio quality uh, uh, high, high, so then they can interact as if they're physically in the same room. 
so uh, as a result of meeting with our partners, Cisco, the vendors, um, we decided to approach uh, Ankabut, that was the uh, organization that was the, uh, the, the, the solution to connect these two sites, USC and AUD, and, and uh, so we got the team, the Ankabut team involved, we approached them and we defined our requirements and they gave us the solution. I came here in October 2009 to set up a new nuclear engineering department to support the nuclear energy program in the United Arab, Arab Emirates. In terms of setting up both an academic and a research program, it was very important that we have the most important tools available, technology tools available to us today to be able to communicate with our peers around the world in terms of nuclear technology and how we use it in an academic environment and how we use it in a research environment. Ankabut provides us with very good data learning, fast data transfer in order to be able to enhance our educational capability. I believe Ankabut is, uh, is playing a very important ro role in which, I mean, it's like a, I mean, a very good network, uh, similar to the networks which are available in, in other countries in the, the, the rest of the world, in the other region, like uh, Internet 2 in the US and uh, Canary and AR in, in uh, Australia, uh, which, which um, Ankabut is bringing all of these uh, researchers together, or the decision makers within the research affairs together, whether, I mean, they, are, they came from different backgrounds, from academic institutions like universities, academic uh, uh, colleges, or research centers, or even a private, uh, private schools. One of the, also the important role of the Ankabut is to, that they're bringing all these people uh, together in which they're exchanging their ideas, the experiences, uh, also about the, the, the projects in which I mean, took place within this university or that research center or that uh, uh, school or that academic uh, institution. Ankabut. Virtual reality will be the future for experiments, for surgeries, for libraries, and for educational uh, activities and so on. So yes, the future is very important for us to work on to make sure that whatever I'm saying right now can be implemented in the coming three to four or five years. And I'm sure it can be done, the technology is there, we just need to work hard to make it successful. We are really looking for the future of the unit and we hope that this unit it will be one of the international zones comparing with Internet 2 and GENT. Uh, so, inshallah, we are looking forward to have more users, more connectivity, more collaboration, not only in the University Institute, but we are, we, we are wish to see the schools, the, the education hospitals, uh, the museums, the libraries, and the zoos, to, to have all these connected to each other, collaborating each other in the benefit of these countries. And always we are looking in this country to be the first as our leader taught us.